Uh, this video is about uh, my transition to wireless Android Auto and why I've had to go down this route with an adapter rather than wait for Kia to turn on the built-in Wi-Fi and functionality. Um, anyway, the main reason is my cable connection to the phone has become unstable. When it rocks around, it, the cable drops out occasionally. Um, so my Android Auto experience has been a bit suboptimal. So, right now, that would just go off as if the cable had been disconnected, but it looked like it was in. So I've started to look around um, for um, possible solutions. Um, someone actually approached me in the comments on my uh, YouTube channel and said, have you heard of Carsify? Uh, nope. And then I looked into it and found it was um, a crowdsource thing that had started around 2020 or 2019. And I had heard of it, but I'd forgotten about it because of uh, COVID and the pandemic, and it was delayed in coming out. So um, I, I read a review on Technically Jeff's YouTube channel, and there was um, a money off um, voucher on there. So I, I took the plunge and I bought one after watching his review. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, so that's it. Away with the cable. Anyway, the classified box turned up within about three or four days, shipped from China. Um, it was under eighty pounds with the discount and the carriage, and it, it, it looks like that. It's got an LED light on, the status lights, and a short cable. It's pretty easy to set up, apart from apart from one setting. Um, you have to turn a feature of Android Auto off to get it to work. But apart from that, it seems to work quite reliably. Um, I do get the odd drop out, but I think that's you get that with Bluetooth anyway. Um, but if you're up driving along the motorway, it seems um, pretty reliable. Um, the only downside is the, um, the phone gets quite hot from the Wi-Fi being on all the time. Um, it goes up to about 45 degrees, I've measured. Um, so after I got that, I decided I was going to go and get a, a wireless charging adapter. So these are freely available for about 10 or 11 quid off Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description to that, and that's just a USB-C one. So to install that, you have a gel case. Then you just plug it in the back, plug it in the end. You can you can stick it to the case so it doesn't move around. But I don't like my sticking it to mine. And just put the case over the top. So it's just quite neat. So once you're charging um, wireless adapters plugged in and the case is back on, you're ready to try it. So you put it on there. And the orange light comes on. And notice the charging um, icon comes on on the display as well. You've probably never seen that until you've tried this. In the Carsified box, you also get a sticker to stick it somewhere on the back. But um, I don't like doing that because I can move it between my wife's car and my car. So that's just a sticky in the bottom, a short cable, and a QR code for the manual and the app. Uh, there's a Carsify app you put on your Android phone, install that, and then plug the Carsify adapter into a USB port, and then the status light comes on, it's either white or blue, blue's good, and eventually that will connect to your phone. There's various things happening on the phone now. It takes a few seconds to connect. Then you can just do what you normally do on Android Auto.
I can't really demonstrate the audio on this because my amplifier is uh, broken and um, only a couple of speakers are working. But that's all there is to it. Um, for under 80 quid, it's a pretty good deal and so far so good. During the setup, um, the only setting I had to change um, was buried in the debug settings, uh, troubleshooting settings in the app. So I had to um, turn off Intercept AA protocol or you've got um, a screen that looks like the phone is not responding or you get a weird message on the phone like that. But if you, if you turn off Intercept AA protocol, that's how you get it working. The other useful feature of this adapter is um, it works with any Android Auto head unit as far as I can tell. I've tested it on the Renault Zoe Z40 which is my wife's and that works just fine. Also it's probably an ideal thing to upgrade your e-Nero to wireless Android Auto if it hasn't got it or any of the new ones or any um, widescreen um, Hyundai head units or even not widescreen so I've tried it on non-widescreen on my wife's and that's fine so uh, yeah for the price it's I think it's well worth uh, the money rather than paying hundreds and hundreds besides turning off the intercept AA protocol setting in the uh, troubleshooting section on, on the uh, Classify app um, the only other issues I have is when if you leave the adapter plugged in the Wi-Fi stays on for a bit because the car is powered off for a minute or so after you shut it down eventually it will shut down but you still get it attached to the phone while you go in the house also um, if you use the Kia Connect app and leave it plugged in it also wakes the car up and also sends messages to the phone and connects to the phone uh, which isn't what you really want so I found it simpler to just unplug it when it's not being used. Um, there is a, a setting inside to detect the Bluetooth um, connection the car's used and see if it's on or not, but that's, that doesn't work because it comes on if the car wakes up in any kind of state, either with the Apple if it's left on, so it, um, it's not much good, um, especially when your Kia Connect app wakes the car up and when you check in the status or you mileage or the state of charge uh, but apart from that I'm just happy to just plug it in when I need to um, anyway it's not bad for the money and um, I'm pretty happy with it so far uh, I've put links to Carsify and to the wireless charging adapter and to technically Jeff's video um, where you'll get the discount code um, all in the description thank you for watching